wrong. Get military access there since you never know when that'll be handy. This is unfortunate. That is not, however, Lithuanian intervention. Tell me, Crimea, what, uh, tell me, Genoa, what is it you're wanting here? You want Caban. I would love for you to have Caban. Oh, Lordy, I would love for you to take Caban. That would weaken Crimea in a way that I can easily get back for them. Hmm. Sometimes a little luck and a little love is all you need. We'll get 350 men back. After that, I can consolidate my units. Well, do I want to consolidate? With two, I can... Hmm. Yeah, I think I want all my units back right now. That's a painful decision because I don't really want to uh, spend money that I don't have right now. But my choices are limited and my hands are tied. Jake siege the capital. Not yet. Here's the thing, Lithuania is involved in, and unless Lithuania gets called under the personal union really quickly and exits this war like that... Uh... <laughs> oh, all you can do is laugh. Because if you cry, you die. Jake, you need four units for two sieges, yes, but you need the extra one to prevent the uh, the creation of more troops like this. All right, Crimea, all you have are those 1,000 men. Thankfully, the Lithuanian intervention did its job quite well, but those 1,000 men are still a bother for me. I wonder if I can go and snipe them down here. No, another unit will be born very quickly very soon. Hmm. I wonder if Genoa will actually uh, project any of their power here. I hope they do. I really hope they do. Alright, we can consolidate now since we can make a tiny unit that has uh, pretty much no men. Now I will. I can keep you as a wild card, can't I? However, you two, I want you to siege up this land so that you can be kept fairly close together. You have one point of siege, which is wonderful. I wonder if it's winter time. It is not. No winter giving me attrition for walking through this land, thankfully. It is a little unfortunate this though, so he's probably going to come marching through Kaffa, Mantrega, and then to Caban. So what do I do? Well, I pull these guys out. He should have enough confidence to fight me in one of these provinces, but not if I bring my troops together. Unfortunately, Cacassia allied Trebizond, so they are getting pulled into this Karakon Liu war. Lots of unfortunates. Gonna wipe those units before he can make them. <clears throat> he can still make some around here, so yeah, he will be making an army. But if I ran into it, I would run out of money. And money is certainly an issue here. So if you're playing Orthodox, never play a uh, Republic, because the Republican events really... Uh, oh, this is high risk, he may intercept me here. But we're taking that risk anyway. Because I don't want him to raise enough of an army here. Good 
good. Go that way. If you make any move towards Caban, I am pulling you guys together and bringing you probably around to Theodoro. This gives me an opportunity to stop this. 23rd. Yeah, he's going for Caban. What do I do with you? He has two cavalry. If I were him, I'd be confident that I could take them out. Can't really get access to the Golden Horde or otherwise. So this is actually a pretty bad situation for me, since if he cut through Azov, he can get me anyway. So what do we do? Hmm. Well, not much I can do. Master Troll. Alright, well this is telling me to try and keep my units a bit closer together. Is he besieging that province? Good. Keep at it, my friend. What are you up to? Hmm. Golden Horde attacked Muscovy. Kazan, now is your chance. Especially since you're allied with Timmy. Golden Horde's allied with Uzbek, so I bet they pulled in Uzbek. Trouble is, Uzbek will not be getting the access they require. Unless they want to march through this hellhole. Okay, so I need to keep a hawk eye both on him recruiting new units, which hopefully he shouldn't do much more of, since he should hopefully be low on money. Speaking of low on money, this is uh, not going to last much longer unless I tax myself. Yeah, even that's just prolonging the inevitable. So to anyone just joining, we have only been streaming for a few minutes and this is our first attempt at Theodoro. Wow, Kirkassia, love war. They ended up together with the Ottomans? <clears throat> Akkon Liu. They decided they wanted uh, Trebizond as well, but they would have been warned by the Ottomans. So the Unholy Alliance has found its roots. I've been sitting on a free uh, diplomat for quite a while. And whilst I've been improving my relations with Georgia, who certainly don't want alliance, I should be considering doing anything I can to suck up to Muscovy. Because if they take the hordes out early, they're going to be pretty unstoppable. But then, what else is new? Well, with you not really requiring to stop anybody, it's well worth my time throwing you back to Theodoro, since it should reduce my maintenance costs on you. Or rather, it'll get you reinforced faster. Oh, which of course will make you cost more. Well, what are you going to do? At least when I finish off these sieges, I will loot the precious couple of ducats that I need. Come now, Kirkassia. You should be helping me. Not our uh, mutual friend Trebizond, heavens no. Uh, that siege is going to need to finish really quickly because I'm running out of money. And I don't want to dismiss this unit, but I'm going to have to very soon. Very soon. The very existence of any Crimean troops is causing me bother here. Oh, your maintenance costs are actually really high. 
And bang goes any chance of Genoa throwing down their influence over here. Alright, next month you should be fully fleshed out and you will end up costing the same as the rest of these guys, which is, oh, actually quite a bit higher. Does reinforcements costs get labelled differently then? Ah, it does! Okay. So, reinforcement costs should be completely gone now. Good, I don't have any loans, but I can't afford to be taking any. I don't want to lower maintenance because it's going to make him think he can attack me. But I hate loans. I'm of the EU3 mindset. You take loans, you go bankrupt. Five's the limit. Boom. Show me the money. And by occupying Tin or Tyne, we also get its production of zero and its trade value. Okay, this is also promising because Genoa's uh, provinces over there are now under siege. He's forced to recruit units over here. He might even make enough to uh, attack Crimea, which would be great because if Crimea takes this province, then they're going to move on from me. And they are close to taking it. I got no money to spare. <sighs> hey, Kirkassia, I'm right here. How about attaching to me? Oh, this would be interesting if you want to help me out in Crimea. No, you have no such interest. I should really have some kind of backup plan for when you take that province, because you are going to end up taking it. Hopefully mine falls first. No. no this doesn't look good at all. I could go in for the stack wipe on him. I would have to merge all my units together for it, though. That would be risky, but he is not in uh, home province. I wonder if the core counts. I don't think it does. It's only owner that counts. Your siege has gone nowhere. I think it might be time. Oh, jeez. If you go for it, i got nothing to fear. No, you're going to go siege up Caban, aren't you? Because that's your war goal. Cockroach. And you haven't put your boats here, so you can just wander over this way. Come now, money is a-wasting. I need this province to pop. Whoa, that's too much, that reinforcement cost. Alright, I'm looking at the wrong costs here, I'm okay. For a short while more. Ah. <sighs> Alright, this province just needs to pop, and then I'm going to pop him like a prom night zit. Let's boogie. Oh lordy, this is... It's, uh, it's coming together, but the game is making me pay for it. Alright, you want to go for Caban. No, you really want to go for Caban. Come on, man. We got this. We can take him out in one shot. Okay, hell's it. We'll just take him out. It works for me if they take Caban anyway. Since they're going to be weakened back in the HRE. 
I highly doubt they're going to go for something like the vassalization of Crimea. And also with the Golden Horde weakened, they're not going to be taking down Cassia in this round. Let's all be very thankful for that. Also, get out of here. You are no longer welcome in my army. Let's make some money. He may be getting his morale back, but he's not getting his men back. Soon he will not be getting his land back. Oh. Poo. I should not have taken that until this battle had started, but it should be a quick stack wipe. Couldn't have been quicker. Ditch those guys. Uh, Rejiggle it so that it's the uh, general that remains there. You folks. Take out. Hmm. Here's the issue. He's going to be recruiting troops right now. It's most important to get them stopped. Jugal plays. Welcome to the family. It always baffles me that people subscribe to this garbage, but... Uh, but you do. I remember the concerns that uh, having me working on this game as my job would uh, stop me from wanting to stream it. Well, it couldn't be further from the truth because the more I play this at work, the more I get an itch to just play a proper campaign. Alright, so this is lovely. I will start getting my relations up with Poland. I think they are going to want to destroy me. No, wait, why Poland when we can Kaffa? Hmm. Genoa are pretty weak. Yes. A profound point. Why Poland when Kaffa? Because we have a mission for it, don't we? Well, we did. I think having 10 ducats is uh, more than achievable, and the fact that we get 10 prestige for it is rather nice. So we shall go for that. By the end of this war, we should be getting that. So Genoa will take Koban. This will weaken Crimea to the point that they are not going to be seeking independence, at least not as hard as they uh, would probably want to. And then we can slaughter Genoa for Kaffa and Mantrega. Hopefully their capital doesn't move to one of those. If it does, then it's going to be slow going to chew them up. Here's hoping that the game will change in such a way that you can take capitals later on. Jake, you can progress the siege and just move the one unit over. That might even be slightly more micromanagement than even I want to do. But it is a point. We can progress the siege, however slowly. What I wonder is, do I get some of the siege money, or the loot money, that they're going to get in Caban? Alright, it'll be done on the 11th of April. I've got a pretty good amount of time to try and get some siege progress here. Let's stop with our uh, war taxes. It is almost tempting to throw some units over there in Caban so that I can try and get the siege ducats. But no. I just got here. Seems Jake finally caved to peer pressure. No, I think it was uh, Crimea that caved to peer pressure. Oh, actually, this is costing me with reinforcements because it's uh, we've got winter. Mild winter, but it's still giving me attrition that I'd rather not have. Now, my question is, Crimea, are you going to have enough score to take Caban? Because I really want you to take it before I get destroyed by Call for Peace. Call for Peace is something that only the AI gets. I wonder if I've logged that as a bug yet. Alright, it's a bad day to be Trebizond. Alright, but with a free diplomat, I can get going with Poland. At least now that they've uh, PU'd Lithuania, they're not going to be a threat anymore. Lithuania, I mean, Poland will likely go domineering since I am small, and they're always eager to add to their little vassal collection. Ah. 
losing a bit of money, but we'll get it back like that. We'll have our mission done in no time. Now, I am suitably curious about Caban to the point where I want to check this out. It's May, so no winter attrition now. Jake, have you managed to break the game completely yet? Many times. Okay, do we get the dosh? We do not. So it seems that only the occupier gets the dosh, or rather the person that uh, takes control of the province. Crimea's fleet is still around. This is good, because it means when I vassalize them, they're going to have that fleet and they won't have to waste money on it. Another option is that I could vassalize them whilst Genoa is doing a number on them. But that would mean I have to fight Genoa. Circassia are not in a position to be helping me with that. Did I marry you? Yes, but I can get around that. Hope. Jake, in what direction do you plan expanding into? All of them. But if pushed this region. I know it's increased coring cost, but honestly, what do you expect me to do? Alright, so he was forced to move his capital to Kaffa. That's extremely bad news for me. Seems he lost Liguria, lost Corsica. He didn't want to move it to this island. He probably moved it here since it was the most landmass in one area. Two provinces. They may be divided, but two provinces is still two provinces. Which means I cannot take Kaffa unless I full annex the guy. And that'll be tricky thanks to this island. I don't want to be rocking up with the Ottomans just yet. So if he takes Caban, sure, it's a Crimean core. I should be giving it back to them. And in fact, I really don't have any uh, back talk to that. I should be giving it back to them. The fact that you got the capital is a pain. Because it just means I don't get the capital. Take Caban and be satisfied with it, please. 14 war score is probably not quite enough to get to Caban. But they'll get ticking war score now because they have it occupied. I would say at least we're not losing money, but we are losing money. What can we do about that? Well, we can lower our maintenance to the point that we're paying them slightly less, but the attrition isn't reducing their numbers. Hooray. Also, by vassalizing Crimea, they're going to lose all of their war exhaustion, since the war score enforced times two is the war exhaustion that someone loses from losing a war. So you can maybe vassalize Genoa. Not a bad idea, since they're outside of the HRE and they have cores that we can retake. What is Genoa's... Well, actually, no, it's a terrible idea, because they're going to have very high um, uh, liberty desire. So, yeah, terrible idea. That's what I'm talking about, Alicious. I can just rival them to get rid of that marriage. Also, didn't I have a little trick for this? I swear I had a trick. What was it? Um... Okay, good. You're out of this war, but you're still friendly with me. As in, you're out of the Kara war. You are not, but you still don't want to be in this war with me. I could marry you, but my thought is that I will want to take over Georgia before too long, so perhaps not. So the other problem is if Crimea does not seek peace with Genoa. Then I end up getting a uh, ticking war exhaustion. With very little to do about it. Funnily enough, when I take this province, I'll complete my mission. Looking forward to that, I tell you what. Jake, I thought you weren't going to play Theodore despite everyone uh, who was asking you to play as them. Well, that was the plan, but now nobody's asking me to play as them.
and I went, well, you know what, I kind of want to play as this small pathetic nation. I have nothing against Theodoro, so here we go. Well done, Genoa, you win. Time to take your prize of Caban. Perhaps they desire other provinces. Oh, they desire their annexation. This could take a little while. If I can vassalize Crimea whilst they're in this war with you, that would be great. It's unlikely to happen since I don't hold the capital. But, oh, and I'm not getting taken war score. Because we didn't win a majority of the battles. Circassia brought nothing to the table here, to be honest. Odd that the at war modifier has actually uh, increased despite the enemy being almost non existent here. Alright, we win, we got our money. What's next? Improving prestige. Unlikely to happen anytime soon. Alright, Crimea, now. Yeah. It's far too expensive to make you my vassal. I am very likely to get the horror. Good, that'll keep France and Austria at each other's throats. Preventing one from being too dominant over the other. <laughs> this situation is uh, far from ideal. Didn't I get my claim on Kaffa? My claim on Kaffa was cancelled because it became their capital. Ugh. So I have no Cassus on Genoa. Oh, that is, however, ideal. It's cheaper to vassalize you now, and I will be able to just by putting a single unit on Crimea. Mark my words. I hope you were marking, because there we go. The occupied and besieged uh, modifier really works to my benefit sometimes. I can also take provinces for free. Well, free in terms of diplo points. The question is, what do I take? And the answer is either Yiddishkel or Ksukar. One issue is my low, uh, or what will be, my low religious unity when I take one or the other. I wonder if people are bothered by when I slow down and talk things through like this. To be honest, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to me. I'm trying to justify things to myself so that I make the best informed decision. Although really, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not because I do it, because I want to. Yudishkal and Kisilkar. Um, really, which either I take, it's going to divide up Crimea and cause them problems. Um, I want either of them so that I can fabricate a claim on Caucasia and the rest of Genoa. Unfortunately, Genoa is now going to get themselves some power, but if I wait for them to have a revolt here, could be waiting a while on that, actually. No, Azov, uh, Azov Unrest should have been growing for a while. With a bit of luck, they will get some horrible... They increased autonomy? The AI does that? Wow, what rock have I been living under? Jake, the comment on your thoughts are the best part. Thanks a lot. Jake, if you want to turn on Carcassia, don't you have to take a neighbouring border to fabricate a claim? That's alright, we have the Sea of Azov, so I could go Yudishkal to Adja through the Sea of Azov. Mm, it's good to know that Juno have no friends. I want to ally Georgia as quickly as possible and hopefully have them assist me in the Caucasian Wars. You still hate each other though, so it's unlikely you'll get access through them. No, that's not true at all. I'll have them both in the war against Genoa, fingers crossed, and then everything works out. Do I want to take any money off of you? I would love to, but uh, Crimean Treasury is negative 11. Do they have loans? Negative? What? How do you even have that? You have no inflation, so you can't have any loans. Unless you paid it down somehow. You can check it on the score comparison. We go to Crimea. 